All right, guys, Sandlot to the show. People send in videos of their young players, and you break them down. So go. Emmy Award winning. Yeah, that's right. Emmy Award winning segment go. here. Okay. Former go, teammates. Who's going first? Up. We want hitting or, 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 or small T? All right, I'm going to go first, John. All right, you go first. All right, let's dive in. Chase right here. First off, I'm digging Whoa. a lot of what Chase is doing at the plate. And the reason I slide in Josh Donaldson, the only thing, Chase, that I want you to understand right here, because the move is clean. And some people don't worry about hands. That's why I wrote in Josh Donaldson. He never concerned himself with hands. But one thing I want you to be careful of is realize that your left arm plays as big a, uh, uh, of a, it counts as much as your power arm, your right arm right there. It's your steering wheel. So if you get lazy with it and you just have it along for the ride, your bottom hand's, uh, your top hand's gonna take over. And if you're not perfectly on time, a lot of those balls right there if you get a little run to the inside or grounders to third base, and those are gonna be outs as you get a little bit older, but love the way you load up on the backside, love the leg kick, everything's clean. I would just say maybe maybe a, get a tee and have a one-arm drill, just a little right here, just a little play so you can feel what your steering wheel is supposed to feel like, your left hand, your bottom hand, but everything's clean. All right, Mason, you're next. Next victim. All right, Mason. I used to do this as a kid. A guy who dove in and kind of rotated. Your lower half's going one way. It's going towards second base, and your top half is going towards pull side, OK? And when you're young and you got the fluidity of a Fernando Tatis Jr., you can kind of get away, away with this. But as you get older, they're just going to rush you inside and, and blow your bat up. So for me, I would tell you to get off the tee. Put it as far inside as you can get it just for you to understand. I used to put the tee aggressively, uncomfortably, like on this white line and try and tell myself to shoot it back up the middle to kind of understand staying behind the ball. Because I'll tell you this, if you dive here, and you go here, you're never getting barrel on that baseball, OK? And then aggressively play with the tee and move it outside. A lot of guys like Tatis, you can get away with this. But as you get older, you're going to have to keep that front shoulder more streamlined, gap to gap, staying in the big part of the field. All right, one more. Zay, I want to do a little defensive work. This is clean, OK? This is real good. There's two things I'm going to say after we get done running it, because I've watched this a couple times. First off, the balance, catching the ball, the ability, play with it like we say, really clean. I would say two things. Right there, that's one. OK, follow your throw. What do I mean by that? I tell all the guys right here, when you're playing second base, it's not just flip and stand there. Follow your throw. Follow it. Give him a dead fish, no spin, and let him play with it. And another thing I'll say on your ground balls, look at your glove hand. Use it. Play second base, use this kind of as a steering wheel. Boom. Don't just get lazy with this left arm and go like this. Or eventually you're going to throw a couple balls offline. I That's really clean. I can't get my eyes off the hair. <laughs> Follow oh, that throw, Zay. But man, that's clean right there. To the belt, that's Jimmy Williams style. That's who taught me on the backfields with Jeff Blauser. Yeah. You pick it right here, bring it to the belt. Whoop. Walt Weiss. All three are good. All right, Smoltzy. All right, we got Walker. And uh, you know, when it comes to pitching, I don't like to get super mechanical when they're young. I mean, hitting may be a little bit different. But the biggest thing, you know, when you throw in from a standstill, right, it's difficult. Because your arm strength doesn't always work with your legs. So I like the fact that he's pushing forward and using his body to throw the baseball. When you're young, your arm and body does not sync up. That's why it's harder to throw when you're younger. So it takes time to coordinate the movement. So the only thing I would say is as he pushes off, right, and gets to that front side, keep working on that. And then the arm strength, let's face it, most of these kids can't even grip the ball. They got to grip it with three fingers. So that, that's pretty good right there. Out of no mound, out of grass, and using your body. So I'd say Walker, Keep using your lower half to throw the baseball because 
Now, here's a guy that uh, Jared has obviously pitched. Nice uniforms. See the synthetic mount. I wasn't a fan of the synthetic mount until I actually went on it. And every time you land, you get a good feeling. The only thing I'd say there, it looks like these are warm-up throws, okay? So maybe it's not ready for the game action, but get into your legs just a little bit more. He's real soft with his legs. Get in the inside of your legs and use the inside of your knees to get to this position. Because if you just fall forward, yep. you're putting a lot of pressure on your arm. But I like the arm action. I like the way the ball comes out of the glove. Everything about that, I just say, he, Jared has to use his legs. You know, just a real quick, Smoltz, it, it's very similar if, if you pause him real quick. Like hitting and pitching for me, like I didn't learn how to load up until I was 30 years old and went to Texas. And what I mean by that is like getting into your backside. And when you see these pitchers, it's like you want to deliver, like yeah. deliver a blow if you're just kind of two, yeah, falling two, two, forward. Two problems I see when it comes to the the young kids getting into it too early is everybody's trying to get the outside of their legs strong when it should be the insides of your legs. It yeah. really should be in here, pinching your knees and working in here. Because if you get the outside of your legs too, if you're trying to concentrate on that, you're gonna rotate this way. So if you stay inside your knees. All right, last one. This one I really like, even though it's from the cement, because that's hard to do. Look at that arm action. See, to me, there are certain things that young children can do, young players that are natural, and he has natural arm action. This is not easy to do, throwing off the cement. And he doesn't even have a glove on, so I like the fact that his arm works naturally. That is, that's just athleticism. And so he's coming down on front. The thing about pitching, when you're young, you don't have to do more of this. You just have to be connected with your body. And I know everyone's trying to teach a certain way, but if the ball comes out of the glove and works with your lower half, everything will be okay long term. But if you're having this funky arm action and really trying to do all of this, then you've got a higher risk of injury. So I, re I really like uh, the three using their lower half. I, had, I, I did a camp for years and I had three basic, I know it sounds simple, but for 13 years I did pitcher's camp, basically a baseball camp, but I, I instructed everyone who and, and, and nowadays, we don't do this. We got to go side saddle. But I always used to tell the kids, do three things for me. Step back, balance, and then follow through. Because a lot of young kids, when they get to balance, they throw and they do this. For some reason, they keep their back leg because they're not coordinated enough to understand the balance, follow through. Get that leg to come through so you take the pressure off your arm. I always said you don't have to throw and pitch that much when you're younger, but just be able to pitch when you're older and keep your arm in shape.